Here we go. 1979 Ford Futura. Now a lot of people don't know, but Futura was actually named what Ford brought back. It was used back in the 60s. Maybe it was the 50s, 50s, maybe both. But anyway, this is the, basically your two-door Fairmont. Um, this is an Arizona, New Mexico car. Six-cylinder, automatic, factory AC, rear window defroster. Um, it's pretty much all original. Not been monkey with, a girl owned it. Um, took really good care of it for the most part. Oh, what's going on downtown? Hang on. Oop, sun is setting. So, <laughs> anyway, getting back to the car. Uh, it's original paint, the factory uh, stripe, still on it. Factory hubcaps are on this side, present, not on the other side. Um, paint might actually buff out if you wanted to. I mean, up here on the hood, it's a little chingered up. But, uh, you know, you could try to save it. We'll get to some interesting points here in a second. So, as you can see, the body's really clean. Uh, the worst part about the body is a left rear quarter. Check this out. Crystal Lake. Maybe Jason owned it. I don't know. So, somebody might get that reference. Some of you guys. That left rear quarter panel got tagged years ago. Not horrible. I'll show you inside. It's not that bad. Um, but this car is really rust, rot free. It's got some surface rust, obviously, from years. But um, very, almost basically no rot at all on the car. And I'll show you that. By rockers are really clean. Quarters are clean. Underneath it's super clean. But if you look at our uh, eBay ad, we've got pictures all underneath this thing, in and out, to kind of give you an idea. Uh, what it's like underneath. Um, I have it running. Oh, well, hang on. Let's, we're here. Let's go to the interior. That is an awesome 80s interior, 70s, 80s. There's no rot underneath the doors. There's no rot in the rockers here, any of that stuff. I mean, it's just see which, which see is what you get. But it's a good solid car. They have the awesome plastic floor liner there <laughs> it didn't stop the fading but it did stop a lot of the abuse on the carpet factory ac all the controls still work am fm radio um, the gauge cluster still looks really nice the fake wood and everything actually still holds up pretty well interior is a little dirty i mean it sat out in the desert or lived in the desert for many years so start cars around here get very dusty Back seat's holding up pretty nice. And honestly, it's not like crusty and hard, like real brittle. It's actually dirty, but it's not crunchy. So, got that going for you. Carpet's a little faded and dirty as you might expect. Let's see. No console or anything, but I think it's probably an option anyway. Even the little buzzer, warning buzzer still connected. Jeez Louise. The windows are tinted aftermarket years ago, probably from the late 70s or 80s. Um, headliner, actually in pretty good shape. So uh, let's uh, pop the hood and see what it looks like under the hood. Let's see here. Hood release. Keys. Let's see here. Let's go look under the hood here. Okay. Oh, nice. And let's put this down for a second. Prop rod with a metal hook, still there. AC's been uh, upgraded. This car has two buck tags. Really interesting. I've never seen a Fox body or Ford from this era with two buck tags. 
I was gonna get a hold of Kevin Marty, you know, get a Marty report maybe on it and see what the deal was with it. Maybe it's because it was well optioned, I'm not sure. But here's your awesome six cylinder, two row carburetor thingy. I cannot promise this car is gonna come with this battery. We just kind of switch around batteries to whatever's convenient. But a the moment, oh, that's what I was getting to. Uh, gas tank, I'm pretty sure is plugged. We tried pulling um, gas from the tank and it wouldn't work. So just to make things a little easier, I just run it off this little gas can right here with a brand new uh, gas pump, fuel pump, sorry. Power steering and uh, you know, let's see downtown again. Yeah, nice. Okay, sorry. And uh, back hood installation, the grill. All the lights work, I'll show you that in a second. But there's your awesome bone stock silk cylinder with AC. Let's check the trunk. Not much to see, but maybe we'll show you. Grab the keys. Sorry guys, sun's kind of going down, so I'm gonna lose some light here. But and then we'll go for a quick ride around the block. And uh, the hood does not stay up by itself. I'm sorry, the trunk doesn't stay up by itself. So I'm using this lovely stick right there. But as you can tell, it's a really clean trunk. No rust, anything like there. No rust, anything right there. There's no rust there, of course. The quarter pounder that got tagged, that's what it looks like inside, folks. So it's really not that bad. And there's the corner of it. I got pictures in the eBay ad under here. The spare's all there and it's all uh, rust free. Let's see. The car does come with, uh, let's see. Yeah, the original spare and jack, all that's down there. Uh, even this part didn't get that bad. You gotta love that. If you're helping. Okay, drop. Drop the trunk. Show you one more thing real quick and we'll go for a ride. Interior lights all work. Tail lights all work. One of the license plate lights are out. Marker light works. We've got the key to that. No rust on the anywhere of like lower sills. Headlights all work. Fire up and go for a ride. Real quick, let me show you the bin. Tag and all. There you go. It's a little hard to start when it's cold. I pumped the gas usually five or six times. Uh, right now I consider it cold because I just moved it once. Try that. One more time. Okay. Yeah, it was lying, it's cold. When it's hot, this thing fires right up. Wheel you're hearing is um, a um, what do you call it? I narrowed it down to the AC compressor. And it shuts off when it feels like it. Yeah. Nice shot. As the sun sets on our city. The sun sets on our Fairmont, Futura, take it for a quick ride. That's not annoying at all. Watch, I'll put the car in gear and I swear it'll shut off. Exactly. Go figure. AC. A 
close. Rear run to the froster. Looks like it works. Um, it's not blown cold, but blower motor works. Let's go here. Whew. Okay. It's an old carburetor car, folks. What do you want? We'll go for a ride. Go down a street or so. And it sounds like the bell on the AC compressor. Even though the AC is not on. Okay. Motor sounds good. I honestly doubt someone's gonna keep this motor in it, but I think they probably could get the gas tank unplugged and drive it like that, man. Seriously, until the engine dies or something. I think it's got about 123,000 or something on it. Watch out for that tree. <laughs> As the sun sets in Tucson. But there you go, folks. A little bit of Sound Garden, a little bit of Fairmont, a little bit of Tucson. 79 Fjord Futura. Thanks for checking it out. And uh, look forward to the next car we get to do for you guys.